Well, first up, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has successfully launched Europe's Proba 3 satellites into the Earth's orbit. This groundbreaking mission is a collaboration between ISRO and the European Space Agency. The mission aims to demonstrate advanced form formation flying technology with two satellites, the Chronograph spacecraft and the Occulta spacecraft. These satellites will work in tandem to create artificial solar eclipses, allowing scientists to study the sun's corona without interference from its bright disk. The Proba 3 mission is a significant collaboration marking the first satellite launch between the two agencies since 2001. The PSLV C-59 Proba 3 mission is successfully accomplished. Uh, the spacecraft has been placed in the right orbit, which is a very highly elliptical orbit of uh, almost 600 kilometer perigee. That's the closest point to Earth and uh, 60,000 kilometers uh, at its apogee, the farthest point. And an inclination of 59 degree, it has been precisely achieved by PSLV in its 61st mission. So congratulations to the entire PSLV project team, as well as for PROBA team. Uh, and we wish all the very best to PROBA for their further operations and achieving the mission goals. Congratulations to both the teams. And let me take you across to DD India's Anvarasan for more on this from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, well, uh, Anvarasan, how was the big moment uh, at uh, Sri Harikota when that launch was declared successful? And uh, tell us, uh, this was the 61st launch of the PSLV, so it really does establish uh, the PSLV as a reliable carrier of uh, different uh, sort of launch missions for India. Yeah, successfully that PSLV 61st mission uh, on, uh, and also the 21st PSLV Excel format. So it established that PSLV, it's a kind of successful launcher and also uh, attracting and collaborated with, between uh, various uh, space agencies of uh, uh, you know various countries and this launch also significantly after launching the 18th minutes where the the probo 3 mission satellites are separated uh, the scientist here and all everybody is very happy that uh, because yesterday it's deferred today uh, they actually due to they found some anomaly and uh, they detected earlier just uh, just for the 50 minutes before the launch and now they are uh, launched it very successfully they are very happy and particularly the European Space Agency because it's a collaboration between uh, the New India Space Limited, it's a commercial wing of uh, Indian Space Research Organization and also the European and we have uh, around 20, uh, two decades of the uh, rela relationship and collaboration between this Probo mission. The first launch on uh, 2001, the Probo 1 and also the Probo 2 on uh, 2009 and the Probo 3 mission today and successfully launched and uh, this is also a very important significant one because we are already launched in 2023 Daditya L1 also uh, solar mission. So launching this will be having an interaction and also knowledge share of uh, various, uh, particularly this satellite also can make a on-demand uh, solar eclipse. So uh, the Probo mission may create a more connection so they can uh, research on particularly the sun's corona. So it's a kind of a successful story and PSLV it's a 61st mission so you can, we can say that uh, with a proud that uh, it's a successfully carrying and also it's a kind of a low, uh, low cost vehicle we launched it and uh, still European Space Agency having a larger and also smaller vehicle. Uh, they didn't have a, a, a vehicle that will carry this kind of Probo 3 mission. So they launched here and uh, we are talked with the European Space Agency also. They are also very happy that it successfully launched and that is our latest article. Yes, certainly it's nice to wrap up uh, 2024 with a successful launch. Uh, but uh, uh, did uh, the ISRO chief also share with uh, the press uh, who were there for this launch as to what uh, does the Indian Space Agency have lined up for 2025? Yeah, we have a various Auditya and also the Mars mission Mangalyan. So we have a lined up various mission and also it uh, significates that we have a commercial mission so like interaction, collaboration between various countries. So successfully launching this Probo 3 mission also enhancing or uh, making other countries to attract and launching via ISRO. Uh, particularly we have launched that uh, the African nation satellites and we have uh, we had collaboration between uh, NASA and also various Australia and also in Russia. So so uh, we are 
created a path that uh, having a various uh, connection and also successfully launching uh, kind of uh, if any successful launch they can come to ISRO that kind of uh, image that uh, the ISRO is uh, made and particularly making via this uh, new space India Limited boosting also the domestic we have launched various uh, startups or satellites also via ISRO so kind of uh, we, you know that the successfully uh, launching various uh, domestic level also international level boosting India's image and particularly on the uh, the space technology and uh, on solar mission uh, it will be also the Aditya L1 uh, so connecting more on that and uh, more collaboration so for a humankind it will be a boost for that yeah yeah for overall. certainly so dividends in multiple arenas of uh, this mission thanks a lot for joining us to talk about it Anbarasan from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh